Welcome back to Wolverine Women. I'm Emily Heidel here, and I'm here with four Michigan hockey seniors, Kevin Lohan, Nolan DeYoung, Evan Allen, and Max Stewart. Thanks for coming to you guys. Thanks for having us. Um, so the Big Ten tournament didn't end out how you wanted it to be, but you have beat Penn State, the juggernaut Penn State of the Big Ten, your last two home, the last two games of your homestand. How was that, you know, going out with children of Yost there, with Yost Ice Hockey Arena, like your last game, how was that um, feeling? Like what were the emotions you were feeling for that? I think it was uh, definitely a, a game we had marked on our calendar. Um, we've had a pretty good rivalry with, with Penn State our whole all over four years here. So um, we had kind of a way with them our junior year and kind of beat up on them a little bit and then went back and forth a little more this year. But um, not the year we wanted, but to be able to go out like that and kind of um, get a big win in front of a lot of family and a lot of friends and like you said, the children of Yost and things like that. Uh, definitely a satisfying feeling for us. Mm -hmm. So what was it like in the locker room at the end? You know, you guys do like the accelerated like Hill to the Victors. Like, was that an emotional, I guess, moment for you guys, would you say? Yeah, I'd say that was a really cool moment for us. You know, that was our first sweep of the season. So after sweeps, when we win both games on the weekend, we do that Victors song and sing really fast together. So that's something, uh, you know, we want to do every weekend. We didn't do as much as we liked this year, but it was really special to do that for the last time for us uh, after that sweep. And so you guys have had um, four years with Coach Berenson, he's legendary. Um, what are some lessons that you've gained from him um, just being four years at Michigan? Yeah, he, uh, he preaches a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily, necessarily involve hockey. Um, he's always preaching, you know, academics and preparing for that second career when hockey's over. Um, so pretty much like the things he preaches that um, work for both kind of hockey and, and life is just, you know, work ethic, um, being on time and, you know, just kind of respecting your teammates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now that you don't have a lot of, you have a lot of time on your hands right now, we talked about it a little before, what are you guys doing <coughs> to take up your time um, now that hockey season's over with? Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting for us. <laughs> this is really the first time we've been normal students, basically, without any hockey commitments and you know we're enjoying it just having some more downtime more time to do our schoolwork and catch up on stuff like that so you know it's been a little bit of an adjustment for us but it's been pretty good as far as I'd say. And I know at the Deakers banquet, like banquet Evan you you were honored with the Alton D Simmons most improved player of the year what did you do um, in the off season that you know got you to that point? Right I mean uh, I spent my whole spring and summer here in Ann Arbor and I think it was a lot of uh, just working out and skating doing a lot of uh, extra stuff but uh, I got to thank uh, a lot of my teammates too. I couldn't have done it uh, without them. They've been by my side all four years and especially this last senior year. So that was a huge honor to get that. And Nolan, um, I know that you were co one of the co-captains along with Alex Kyle uh, this season. How has that changed you as a person being able to lead your entire team? I think it definitely, especially with the team we had this year, it kind of teaches a little bit of resilience and um, you got to be able to take some bumps and still be able to get up and kind of do, do your best to, to lead the way, like you said, kind of um, make sure you come into work every day and, and kind of put your work in because obviously we it was a bit of a taxing season in terms of probably a little mentally and that, things like that because you it was all the meetings and things like that weren't always as positive as it has been, have been in the past. So, um, But I think my approach, I try to keep my approach the same and I think uh, Kevin, well all the seniors really because we, um, we all led in our own ways and um, just had to come come into work every day and make sure we were showing the freshmen and and the younger guys how to how to be a Michigan hockey player. Mm -hmm. And for those freshmen and those underclassmen, what's um, one piece of advice that each of you would give to them as they go on? Uh, we kind of talked about this a lot the last couple of days, especially um, yesterday. We had like our senior banquet, but pretty much just enjoy every day. Um, I think we can all attest that you know we had we had a lot of fun um, these four years. Um, worked hard and you know didn't take any day for granted because it does go by so quickly um, everyone always says that when you're a freshman but until you're sitting you know where we're sitting now you don't really understand how quickly it goes so yeah and just even like like I was I said at the banquet yesterday was if you're like walking into Yost or whether you're walking through the Diag you're like um, like no matter what you're doing just walking down the street like just take a second and just lift your head up and kind of just <coughs> take a deep breath and kind of realize where you are because you're only going to have four years of it and then it's gone. So um, a bad day at Michigan is definitely better than, than a good day anywhere else, I think. That's true. Yeah, I think uh, they said it 
they both pretty much just said it there, but uh, it flies by, so just enjoy it every day, uh, on and off the ice, away from the rink, at the rink, uh, on the road trips, you know, just make the most out of it and have the most fun. Yeah, definitely enjoy it and take advantage of everything. You know, this is the University of Michigan. We all know it so well, and it's such a great place with so much to offer, you know, both for guys that are on the team athletically and then also academically, so there's a lot to take advantage of, so definitely take uh, advantage of it. Yeah. And if, if you had, you talked about road trips, what's one of your favorite memories um, on any road trip that you've ever been on? Uh, um, well, we've had a lot of good ones, but probably Chicago was, that was uh, awesome. We got to play outside and stayed in downtown Chicago. And I would say mine, which got kind of boring because I got asked this question yesterday too. Mm -hmm. um, but this year we went to Arizona State and it was probably the most fun that I've had on a road trip. Mm -hmm. Probably definitely hands down. Like, won the game and then um, well, my family w was there and a lot of those other families so um, just overall just a really great trip. Last year we played at uh, Madison Square Garden in New York um, which was pretty cool especially you know I'm from uh, Long Island New York so to actually be in there and be one of the part of you know one of the teams I was playing was really special. Who do you pick to win the NHL Stanley Cup this year? Chicago. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll change it up and just say uh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Actually, I'll change it to Caps here. Uh, I'll okay. go with Washington. Okay, all right. Um, what's your favorite song at the current moment right now? Oh, that's yeah. hard. I'm really liking that uh, that Stay song, both, uh, is that what it's called? Selena Gomez and... Yeah. Uh, oh, Kygo, yeah. Kygo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It Ain't Me. Oh. It Ain't Me, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. A little rendition. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was Cooper than maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about you? Uh, What's that one song called by Russ? What they What they want? Oh yeah. My yeah. Favorite song. Me Russ. too. Yeah. 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 Life. I don't even know who it's by. Okay. All right. I've always the DJ of the team. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. You like dance or hip hop? Both. A both. mix of both. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then last question, which is probably the best: Skeeps or Ricks? Ricks. 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 Uh, tied. It depends on the night. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we good. we also want to shout out Garage Bar. We love Garage okay. Bar. Garage okay. Bar. Yeah. Okay. And then I know Nico's dad owns Study Hall, right? Study Hall, the Lab, and Jug. The jug. And love, yeah, okay. Okay. You gotta shout those places out. Too. Yeah, the, the Jug. Yeah. Sunday. We put Fantastic. a lot of a lot of hours in. Great the Jug. <laughs> Great establishment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching Wolverine Women. We'll see you next week.